The literal embodiment of gothic aesthetic, Chandelure is one object Pokemon that has become a favorite among fans. But just how dangerous is this Pokemon really? Sit back and let me tell you the tale of Chandelure. So, Chandelure, a ghost and fire type Pokemon that made its debut in Generation 5. Such a cool looking Pokemon that takes a relatively simple idea and just runs with it. Starting out as a ghost candle that evolves into a ghost lantern and finally a ghost chandelier? Genius. But before getting too far, perhaps that small simple idea is exactly where we should begin. So this is Litwick, the aforementioned ghost candle. Just a cute little goober with a mouth that looks like the letter C. But this is a ghost type Pokemon, so of course it's got to have some kind of sinister Pokedex entry. Go ahead, lay it on me. Litwick shines a light that absorbs the life energy of people and Pokemon, which become the fuel that it burns. While shining a light and pretending to be a guide, it leeches off the life force of any who follow it. Alright, not necessarily anything too crazy. Sure, it steals the life force of living beings, but we don't really have a way to measure life energy. I suppose it's implied that when a being runs out of life energy, they die. Though these Pokedex entries are more so telling the tale of a little Pokemon that just needs to eat. Though the fact that it deceives people into hanging around it gives a negative impression. But of course, the Pokemon Sword and Shield Pokedex come around and drive the nail into the coffin. The flame on its head keeps its body slightly warm. This Pokemon takes lost children by the hand to guide them to the spirit world. The younger the life this Pokemon absorbs, the brighter and eerier the flame on its head burns. Oh no, we've got another case of Pokemon endangering youngins. Like, seriously, what is it with Sword and Shield just taking these creepy Pokemon and saying, yeah, we can go creepier? It is also interesting that we see the return of the spirit world in a Pokedex entry. I think this is mostly just a nice way of saying the afterlife, even though that word has also been used before. Though I think something like Litwick being able to drain a person's life force is much more documentable, because someone simply standing in the presence of one would tell you whether or not it's true. And so that made it into the Pokedex. And of course, we would see this in an episode of the Pokemon anime where the characters are attacked by a group of Litwick occupying an old mansion. Litwick also drained a good amount of Team Rocket's life force and they look like me on a Monday morning. <laughs> so that's why we all look so drained. Who's that Pokemon? But the Pokemon Shield Pokedex entry is particularly concerning because it doesn't just say life force or life energy, it says that Litwick absorbs an entire life. That means they're dead. Unfortunately, things don't get any better when Litwick evolves into Lampent. This ominous Pokemon is feared. Through cities it wanders, searching for the spirits of the fallen. It arrives near the moment of death and steals spirit from the body. Now we're on the complete opposite end of the spectrum as Lampent loves the spirits of the oldest it can get, literally people at the end of their lives. Later Pokedex entries get worse, mentioning that it hangs out around hospitals. Could you imagine being in a hospital and just seeing a Lampent creeping outside your window? That is morbid. And when in the context of the Pokemon world, an entry like this is written as if it's been observed. This time around, Sword and Shield don't have any extra details that really change anything, except that it mentions Lampent isn't confined to only hospitals, and just trails anybody whose life is near their end. Overall, this doesn't really feel too horrendous. Lampent isn't described as intentionally killing people, more so that it acts as a grim reaper to take people when their time has come. If anything, this Pokemon lore is sad rather than scary. But don't worry, there's still one more evolution left and then we have Chandelure. It absorbs a spirit, which it then burns. By waving the flames on its arms, it puts foes into a hypnotic trance. Being consumed in Chandelure's flames burns up the spirit, leaving only the body. And so we've come full circle and made it right back to being utterly terrifying. I mean, Chandelure is literally the ghost fire Pokemon, so just completely burning up souls potentially indiscriminately, rather than just draining life energy or hanging around and waiting, makes way too much sense. While this seems like the ultimate inferno, it's actually purgatory because in later entries, these spirits burned up are said to lose their way and wander this world forever. On one hand, at least the spirits aren't burned up and gone forever, but on the other hand, they never find peace. Some translations of lore even note that it doesn't matter how kind the trainer is, if they make one mistake, well, you know. I find Pokemon Shield's entry so funny. In homes illuminated by Chandelure instead of lights, funerals were a constant occurrence. Or at least it's been said. 
as if the little, or so it's been said, is a way to just claim it's only a story when the entire evolution line has some sketchy history. But I do feel like, as with many other ghost Pokemon, this is mostly just meant to be there for the sake of being a fun little spooky story to read that doesn't affect gameplay. But when it comes to all other media, it's basically canon and is insane to think about. There's just something about mysterious glowing lights being a universally creepy occurrence. Chandelure and all of its previous forms could be based on a number of different fiery yokai from Japanese mythology. With Pokemon being a Japanese franchise, this is not surprising, as many other Pokemon have had similar origins. I'm going to be consulting the website yokai.com, which is maintained by and features art by Matthew Meyer, which will also be linked in the description. I think I've seen other Pokemon creators just say that Litwick is based on the Hitodama, given that its Japanese name is Hitomoshi, so at first they appear similar. But reading up on Hitodama, I don't think so, because it's said to be a harmless yokai that are the visible departed souls of humans. A more appropriate fit would be the Onibi, which are described as deadly and are said to drain the life force of their victims and that people have vanished into the forest chasing after them. And that is exactly everything we've read about Litwick so far. But interesting thing about Onibi is that it's very similar to Will-O-The-Wisp. Will-O-The-Wisp is thought to be a natural phenomenon of igniting gas in swamps at night. Of course, in centuries past, it was rationalized as a glowing mischievous spirit that would lead people away to their death. Again, this is hypothesized to just be a natural occurrence that people would follow out of curiosity but find that it dissipated by the time they reach it. At which point they would get stuck in a thick swamp at night and at best escape with a crazy story or at worst never be seen again. The name Will o' the Wisp comes from European folklore, being a shortened version of Wile of the Wisp, sometimes also being personified as Jack of the Lantern, which we discussed in a previous Ghost Pokemon file. But all of this coming together makes for a perfect inspiration behind the Chandelure line. It is honestly so fascinating to see this Pokemon receive such high praise and favoritism from fans, and rightfully so, being just another object Pokemon on the surface but in reality hiding some dark secrets and deep lore. I love this Pokemon so much and it's so fun to use in battle. It may appear to be the usual glass cannon with high speed and special attack, but it just does that so well. I love that it gets access to flash fire as an ability because I just imagined the flames growing out of control. I had completely forgotten that its original hidden ability used to be Shadow Tag, which just makes this Pokemon even more terrifying. But more recent games have nerfed it and just straight up changed the ability and that's funny. I also love that it gets to shine in Pokemon Tournament. Even though this game's final roster is relatively small compared to the amount of potential Pokemon, I love that it isn't held back by only including humanoid bipedal Pokemon. I mean, if you put a chandelier in a fighting game, that deserves some points. Chandelure is just so cute in this game with how its voice sounds and all the little mischievous movements that it makes. I am definitely not good at this game, but Chandelure is just so fun to mess around with. Despite the fact that this is one of the creepiest Pokemon evolution lines, Chandelure and its pals have cemented their place as fan favorites. For sure, one of my personal favorites of the black and white era. I just have so many good memories with the one that I used on my team. There's a beauty in its simplicity and a wonder in its complexity. Just a great ghost type Pokemon. But as we all know, it doesn't matter how much we love Chandelure, all it takes is one mistake. And so, that has been the tale of Chandelure. Thank you to all of my channel members who continue to support and make these videos possible, especially the Great Gators Jackson, Justin R, Mr. Pig Puncher, Phantom Pyro, and Quago. If you would like to get a shout out here as well as access to emotes to use in comments and live streams, you can become a channel member as well today. You can also follow me on Twitter for more spooky memes as we continue throughout the month of October. Anyway, this has been GatorX, and I'll catch you all later. What's waiting in the darkness? Darkrai EX, Kyogre EX. Rule the darkness with Pokemon trading card game Black and White Dark Explorers. In stores now. Each booster pack of 10 cards sold separately. Cards vary by pack. One code card per booster pack. Judging by the freaked out look on your faces, it's like you both got hit by Confuse Ray. Iris, behind you! What's behind me? <laughs>